Hey there, Josh Powers here with Quixel, and today I'm very excited to show you some of the great new features in the latest beta release of Quixel Mixer. I also want to talk a bit about a competition that we're holding, of which there are some fantastic prizes lined up. But first, let's dive into those new features. You're probably already aware that the pattern modifier offers a brightness jitter to allow you to change the grayscale values for random height variations between the blocks. However, we've added a few new settings to give you even more control, including the gradient jitter. When you activate the gradient jitter, you'll notice immediately that many of the blocks will receive a gradient slope to give your pattern some random angles. You can adjust the amount and angles of the slopes, increase the threshold to reduce the frequency of the slopes, and then of course you can adjust the random seed slider for different results. As I crank up the height on this layer, you can really see just how much of an impact this new feature has on the height data. In addition to the gradient jitter, we've also added the size jitter, which lets you play with random scales of the pattern. Previously, you could add normal, add, multiply, and overlay blend styles to the mask stack modifiers. But as you can see, we've greatly expanded the layer blend styles to give you a wide range of blending effects to your layers, adding even more control to the already powerful mask stack. And one of the most powerful new blend modes included in this update is the Distort blend. Distort, as the name implies, will use the active layer to distort the mask below. This effect can be used in many ways, but one of the main uses is to quickly break up straight edges in your mask. What used to take multiple layers with various blends and opacity settings can now be achieved with a single drop-down menu. Distort is also a great blend setting for stylized textures. We've added a new mask modifier and it's one of the most powerful ones yet. The scatter modifier takes your mask and duplicates it all over the canvas. You can control the density, the min and max scale, and the min and max angles. You can also adjust the random seed and give a brightness jitter to each of the instances the modifier applies. When combined with components and other modifiers, even additional scatter modifiers, you can quickly take your mask to the next level in only a couple of layers. And don't worry, though this example uses an external height map image file, scatter works harmoniously with mask stacks made up entirely of procedural components and modifiers. So whether you prefer to create 100% procedural masks, use photos entirely, or somewhere in between, the scatter modifier will be a powerful new tool in your arsenal. Though it's been in Mixer in some capacity for a while, not every action or command allowed for undo and redo. But that's no longer an issue, as undo and redo can be used on everything, from deleting layers, to blend adjustment tweaks, to mask stack changes. And last but certainly not least is performance. In addition to all the great new features that are constantly being implemented, the Mixer team is dedicated to increasing performance with each new release. And in this latest version of Mixer, you'll see speed increases up to 300% so that you'll be able to get instant feedback on your adjustments and import scanned data faster than ever before. So whether you have a beast of a computer or something a little older, our goal is to have Mixer be a smooth experience for all. All right, now that we've gone over some of the new features of this latest release, it's time to talk about the Style Swap Contest. The challenge is simple. Choose a material you want to create and generate two versions, one realistic and one stylized. Your material needs to be created inside Quixel Mixer. However, you may import external height data extracted from software such as ZBrush to leverage inside the mask stack. Your submission must include a render of both the realistic and stylized versions of your material. The material should be applied to a primitive shape such as a sphere or a plane. You may also make a split render of both variants at once, but this is optional. You'll also need to post an animated GIF or video of a breakdown of both the realistic and stylized mixes, similar to what you see here. And finally, you'll need to post a composition of the different texture maps created such as the albedo, normal, roughness, etc. Feel free to render the final image in whatever software you're most comfortable with. 
be it real time, such as Marmoset, who is a generous sponsor for this contest, Unreal or Unity, or offline renderers, such as V-Ray, Redshift, Keyshot, and so on. To participate in the contest, you'll need to create a thread labeled Mixer Contest in the forum linked in the description below, along with a brief description of the material you want to make for your chance to win a one-year subscription and a thousand points for Megascans, as well as a $300 gift card for the Marmoset website. Also, be sure to post a few reference images of the material you're planning to make, and someone from Quixel will reach out to you to ensure that you have adequate points on the Megascans library to help get you started with your mix. The sky's the limit on this one, and we look forward to the incredible looking materials we know you're going to create. Don't forget to head over to the forums, again linked in the description below, for more details and helpful resources. Thanks for watching.